What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another crazy installment of Getting Groovy, the podcast with this lug head in front of you. Um, you may notice that this is a different angle and a different camera, maybe, if you're savvy. Uh, but this is now the, the podcast with three cameras. We have three cameras in the room. There's a wide one, and there's one on my guest here that you don't know who it is unless you looked at the title and the description, and in which case you clicked on the video, then you do. But today we have a, a good friend of mine. He's been in my life for about six years. Some, some would say longer, but who knows? Uh, he's, he's a great guy. He's got, I got a camera or two. He's got some equipment. He's got some good t- t- jobs before. <laughs> and his name is Dan Hochstein. Is that right? Did I get it wrong? Close. Hoch, Hoch, Hochstein. Very close. Hostein. Hostein. Yeah. There's good. no ch. There's not a ch. You've never had a ch in your name? I've never ch before. But you, there's a ch in there. There is. It's, so explain yourself. It's silent. I, I feel like I don't have to. Okay, that's it's fine. It's a German name. <laughs> a German name? It's a German name. They. The, I think the Germans have to explain themselves more than anyone. They... They've you know already I mean? gone through a period. They've they've torn down a few walls. We're we're breaking barriers here. So. That would they need to they, tear they, down? They've they've broken a few barriers. <laughs> so I think we should just leave it at that. Literally and figuratively. Figuratively, literally everything. Right. So as we've discussed, because <laughs> on our dry run, because we have we have tried to record this a few times, this but is, you know we're working out the kinks. This is new equipment. This is all new equipment. We're brand new at this. We're just testing it out. We're we got learning. we got Layla Ho, Hosteen. Did I say it right? It's, it's pronounced the same way as his. Hostein. 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 Just ho h o stein s t e i n, but it's, it's not how it's spelled. Gotcha. It, we got it. it just just Hostein. Yeah. Hostein. It, it, in it my translates mind, translates from German high stone. High stone. High stone. Which is a good segue into what you guys do together because you are married, correct? The person switching this and the person on my last I checked, yes. You get yeah, you got you got the ring. Got the ring. I was there when they got married. That's, that's true, you I, were there. I have uh the keychain, I think so. The imagine. I got I got that prize possession. Um but what what could be more of a prize possession than the information and knowledge that has been bestowed upon to me? by these great individuals. I I pretty much have learned everything I know about video and photos from these guys and acquaintances that we met at a previous job. Some would say, still have that job, but we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, But then going on in life, you did end up traveling over to LA, correct? Yes, I uh, went to LA for about a year. Crazy. Right BC, right Right before the COVID. Before COVID. So how was your time there? Give me give me the quick rundown. It was great. I don't think we've ever sat down and like talked about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it's true. We've kind of just been like could, at work. So I mean, I could just start from how how we got there. Yeah, um, give me. You took a road trip, right? Yeah, we took it. So Ian was there. I've heard. Ian Ian went with us. Uh, yeah. He was stuffed in the back. Shout most, out Ian. All of our stuff. So the biggest thing is we just kind of we were just sitting there. We were wondering. It's like you know, hey, when are we gonna start? You know, getting on with it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna start doing what we want to do. You kicked your foot on the ground. Yeah, and you're and like, man, like, you know something's got to change. I don't. Yeah. So uh, we. <laughs> so we. Gee just whiz, guys! Uh, I don't think I feel good anymore about here. Let's 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 give this place a try. Yeah. We definitely uh, we definitely went there and had a lot of fun. Right. But the biggest thing is how we got there was right. just crazy. So I I booked a job actually. Sick. Um, in L.A. before we even thought about moving out there Mm -hmm. in the sense of like you know thought we were actually going to be out there so um we basically had about a week to prepare everything and then get on the road and then the i'd say two days after we arrived in la i had Mm. a three-day 12-hour day job working for a i'm not really allowed to talk about what job we worked on but it was with a larger commercial company that the cia uh, has yep cellular yep uh Yep. products, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, the, so cent- the by... Central Intelligence Agency. I got you. You can. I can say it, you can't. The Central. No, no. Yeah, definitely not. That was. Gonna... No, you definitely. It wasn't provided surveillance. It, was, it wasn't. 
it that's what I got. Commercial. It was more. It wasn't. It more wasn't commercial. Government. It was more commercial. Okay. Um, but it was a commercial for them and their up, their satellite television service that they provide. Gotcha. So it was a, it was my that first, like it my first jump into. Uh, into the filmmaking industry. Yep. And I was just uh, basically working as a PA. So mm-hmm. I, I didn't know what to do. I jumped on. Uh, it was 4 a.m. I, I just rolled up. I'm like, how does this work? At what point from when you got to L.A. to getting into the job? Like how long? Did you did you sleep? Was there like we, a... So we did, did have... Did you get a hotel? We had a break period. So we, we did arrived Did you get there and then you were like, I day, gotta get to the job. It was like a day and a half before the job. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we did have a little bit of time, but right. we were also moving our entire life mm-hmm. to this job. So like, you, to, to, so to you decided job. before move, like going to the job to move. We were, yeah. So, like, we basically didn't want to move until we were guaranteed to have something, right. you know, going over there. Just, just like to, a check. Yeah, yeah, basically. So that way we could, you know, get established and have a little bit of, you know, moving in money. Because, mm-hmm. honestly, for the first night, we literally... Dropped everything off at the place. We had Ian run up while we were signing the lease and everything. But mm. the first place that we stopped to in L.A. was the in post office. Oh, okay. Post office to pick up the rent money so we could actually uh, open the doors. So yeah, that's pretty necessary. After that, yeah, after that, I mean, we had no food. We literally just rolled into town, snackless and everything. Snackless. Too. Snackless. We, that had, is, we had some water. We had some It's not even a way to be. Ian ate the rest of the damn snacks, so. <laughs> You're telling me. I live with the guy. He's great, uh, but he's great. dude snacks. The dude snacks. But it was fun. We we off- offloaded everything, and then we got everything into the apartment. Then you we uploaded everything? Went, yes, we uploaded everything. Because you took pictures on the way. We did, actually. I went to the Grand Canyon, first time in my life. Heard went about to go that. see uh, the crater, the Arizona meteor crater. It was crazy. That's That sounds um, uh, lunar. It, it was, yeah, honestly. Out of, I, it sounds out of this world. It was... Yeah, we actually got to see the original meteor that struck there. The original meteor. The original. The O M. The O M. <laughs> that not does not sound as cool. The original meteor. Original. The original. It makes an O in the ground. The original. It's... So you get to L A. You get to the job. How was the first job? Did you so, did you enjoy the? It was great. The time. Honestly, I did enjoy the three twelve hour days. Some people would be like, "Fuck it was, that." Uh, well. Yeah, you gotta you gotta start somewhere. In the film industry, that's just working. That is, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's honestly, just your I, day. I had to work five yeah. days in, on a different job. This was for how do I explain this company? It's a department store who has a dog as a mascot. I can yeah. So you're really good at that's all like I'm say. you know being oblivious or oblivious, <laughs> yeah. uh, obscure with these you know. But it was it was a very fun job. It was a uh, campaign. It was an inclusivity uh, back to school thing. It Hell really yeah! Cool. That's all I'm gonna say. You got to include everyone. Yeah, but all of them, <laughs> everyone. It it was just it was very. If there's a one, you better put it in out. the fucking commercial. All right. <laughs> You better put everyone in that commercial, or you're fired. That was your job, right? <laughs> uh, th- that wasn't. That wasn't your job my... was to take care of the ones. I, I mean, I did have to help <laughs> everyone in, in moving everyone to you, right. that had to be in that the specific shots and everything. Right. I also did have to move a few props on set, so I did work with the art mm. department on that one. That was fun. So did um, you if people people you meet over there. Did you make some valuable connections? That I did. You can actually. like kind of go back to. If, I, I if mean, necessary, if, you're back here in if Buffalo. I went, yes, so, I, I did come back. Unfortunately, know. the coronavirus definitely hit that industry very hard. Yeah, um, I don't bit. even know if a lot of my friends are still actually working over there, but yeah. it's definitely that was the reason struggle. you did move back, though. It was it was a contributing factor. I'll just mm. say that. But because wasn't that when did you move back? What was that? It was like, January. It was it was or like, like December. So it, December yeah. time period, like that was when everything was starting to shift over, and we were starting to see more and more cases developing yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. So then a lot of the industry started canceling the jobs that they had scheduled ahead of time, and there was an excuse to get to the break quicker. I would say as well, because I know the January break that a lot of these people take from like just not having jobs, and you know, it, yeah, from what it, I've it heard, basically. So, um, it, it, it I mean. It, out there, the the weather really doesn't change too much. It, well, right. It's very very good conditions. It's like the holidays year round. Is more what I'm it, saying. Yeah. But yeah. The the holiday breaks, you know, so that, like everyone gets maybe two weeks off that kind of stuff. It did help yeah. out a lot, you know. With it was already slower on that time anyway. Right. But you know, people still 
were getting some of the stuff done, but it was skeleton crew, so you had to be on a very tight list. Mm -hmm. You have to be COVID negative. You have to get tested every single time. So that was happening in December. Well, no, that wasn't happening in December. But they they kind of shut everything down for a while until they could come up with a solution to all these, you know, like disinfecting uh, between touching different microphones, having individualized mic packs, and all that kind of stuff. I've seen, you know, the behind the scenes of some of these it's, shoots, and it's, like, super, like, it, intensive. Yeah, they, they definitely, I mean, they have to. Otherwise, they get shut down well, by yeah. a government agency. Well, and that's, I feel like with, uh, like, Hollywood sets, too. I mean, I'm not, like, saying that the Hollywood liberals, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. But it's, like, there's definitely an image to uphold, especially in that industry where you're, like, yeah. like you have the... The um, the people that are funding all of this, the if they the don't world. think that this is a safe environment, then you're kind of out of money and out of work. Yeah, because, so, I mean, if the investors pull, yeah. if there's a high amount of liability, then yeah. it's completely understandable that right. they didn't, wouldn't want to fund that. Because, I mean, especially because, like, we're, everyone's playing make, this is, everyone's playing make-believe. This is, everyone's just acting and just doing this for what? Like, so Eric Andre can be weird? Like that, you know what I mean? Like it's not. <laughs> it's hilarious. I know you yeah. said that you were on one of his, it was, his it, commercials. The Twitch. not really. Al- hey, uh, we're not really twatch. not allowed to kind of talk too much about those. Well, we can bleep it if we yeah. need to. I'll bleep it if yeah. you want. I <laughs> can, uh, if you, it's up I to mean, you. it's already happened, so it can't be too bad. Yeah. I just, I, I don't want to worry. I'm about not saying anything anyone's like bad. Yet. I'm just, there's, we're not bad mouthing anyone. We're just <laughs> talking about our experiences. But I will say the the people that I met, they were definitely. Um, they're very nice overall yeah. over there. I mean, some of them seemed a little bit full of themselves, I guess you could say, but I think that's anywhere. It's it also comes with the territory. It's a larger, you know, population, yeah. but yeah, territory too. But I feel like with, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to shut myself out of jobs, but there is a, a, a uh, stigma of ego in LA that is not necessarily apparent in like other, maybe like New York, but like at a certain point, everyone's just like, fuck you. But I mean, you know. I, this is just stereotypes. Like, I'm it's, not... It's know. kind of like a passive aggression, I yeah. guess you could say. Yeah. Like, it, it was just... Uh, it, w- certain people, uh, when they kind of, like, shut you out, they, mm-hmm. they don't really just, like, let you know, like, hey, you're done. You're never working with us mm-hmm. again. You're out of here. They just, they just stop. ignore you. Yeah, that's, um, that's almost worse. That, it's at like least you're not that's even what I've heard. Like, it, it just seems like they just kind of mm-hmm. just throw you off. You're like, you know, okay, well, you can finish out the day, but you're dead to me after that. Right, like, right. Go, go away. It's just, like, mental note, but, don't yeah. talk to this person ever again. Yeah. But I mean, that's, that's fun though. At least, you know, not many people can say that they've made the trek out there and really went for it and actually got jobs. So that's, it, that's I cool. Mean, it was that's a, a great cool experience. experience. I mean, I, I even had a chance to work for a network, um, that produces a lot of, uh, I'm sorry. Consumable foods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess uh, you're really good. But they 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 produce a lot of shows on how to make certain types of consumable foods and how to fix other people's businesses that are just oh, not doing it correctly. Is there? There's the uh, certain types, the good types. You know, of the, food, the not cook, like the garbage food. The like, oh, channel. let's make some tuna mixed with uh, chocolate. Sauce. You know, Skillet Central. That's yeah. I think that's where it is. That's yeah. what you're talking about, skillet, right? Skillet, yeah. Skillet Central. Skillet Corner. On like that's like channel twenty three and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But either way, I, I got to work with a few baking championships on certain mm-hmm. networks, so um, it that's was cool. definitely fun. I got to do behind the scenes photography for them, and uh, nice. Because that's I more mean, than that was, PAing. It was it was a lot more fun too, and then I got to have a few of the the winning dishes, I guess you could say. The win- so. you ate food. Not, you not ate the, the food that they I, made. Yes, I got to eat. There was Ooh. this crepe cake that was quite delicious. Um, oh shit! What else was there? I didn't. Well, I didn't get to top. eat like the top winning food now, but it was amazing. Like the, what the mm-hmm. what the guy made and what I was able to capture from it. Oh, dude, like, he had that, a cake that focus? was squirting on stuff. Like it, he, he was pumping like a, a raspberry something kind of syrup through it, just and, gushing and, blood from this heart. And you were like, "This is the this money is shot. This is amazing. what I want. This is this is like I want this to to just slap Duff Goldman in the eye or something. Just Who like you know, Duff just, Goldman. Exactly. Duff. You know? That's a great name. Just, Did you just right make that face. up? No, that, that, it's a real man. That, up. that is a real human being. He exists. Whoa. He's alive and he's pretty cool. Oh, that sounds good. I mean, if you're with a name like Duff, I feel like it's hard to like kind of have to have you're either making chicken wings or apparently you're doing stuff with baking it's a good point so <laughs> what do you okay so let's get into uh the buffalo food debates so i need i need your opinion duff's anchor bar go 
I, I don't remember the last time I've had Duff's. Anchor Bar is not bad. No. Um, a little more I've crispy. Had. A little less they're, juicy. Yeah. I, I would say yeah. they're not my favorite buffalo wing. Right. But okay. Where is your favorite buffalo wing? Do you have an so, Audible? The, the one that I would say that I would play, or uh, wouldn't that play? Play. <laughs> the one that I would get. The card that you would play. The card that I would play. Yeah. I don't, there's the, this the wing one card. place. There's this one place. Um, it's called Wise Guys. Uh, Wise Guys Pizza. I know what you're talking South about. South Park area. Yeah. Kind of like. Um, they are Italian, I'm sure. It's, I'd hope. <laughs> Otherwise, they're they're doing something weird. It's like. But it's, they, they have some pretty damn good wings. That's what I'm saying. So if you want great, like, okay. So I we can tie this back into the L.A. thing. So you it, don't go to LA for wings. No, but that's what I'm saying. You go to LA for Southwestern food and that shit is as authentic as it gets. Mm -hmm. Because if you're ordering Southwestern food or, you know, Mexican in general from a Latino individual, you could bet that's just going to be delicious. I'm sure. I, from what I've heard, they're, they sell I, I in the say, taco trucks. They have amazing Midwestern, Southwestern, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it food. They have Everything there was amazing. Spices. The pizza was great too. Yeah, I mean, which is a really? debatable topic. From it, it I've, I've debatable. heard that it, people are there's like, a few places out yeah. there that actually know how to make it. Now, if you it, Domino's is pretty much like the wings that you get from Domino's. These disgusting, yeah, yeah, flabby, rubbery they attempt make you feel at bad. chicken. Yeah, no, it's not that they create is disgusting. It's it just baked and. Sorry for bad mouthing Domino's. No, but. Domino's deserves whatever you have to say about it. It's just the wings. Like yeah. the pizza isn't even like it's not Domino's even that and bad. Papa John's are about as fine as pizza gets. Like That's it's like, like I will consume this, if but they, then I will feel bad and it will be fine. It's like Frozen Plus. Frozen Plus, yeah. Fro Frozen Plus. It's not. It's, like, it's not, not DiGiorno. It's not DiGiorno. It's Domino's. It's Domino's. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about yeah. right. But and in terms of like. Wings here, like what would you say food wise you enjoyed more? Because you did, you have a, you lived in Koreatown, correct? It, it's yeah, from what, in the general area. Yeah. Koreatown, like West Hollywood, I guess, right. like that area. So, so I mean, we so were what was near your the Hollywood sign? Oh, that's cool. I could be dangerous from what I've heard. Uh, not, not that area. No. I mean, a few, few, uh, there was a, a helicopter search party on our street, which was that's very interesting. It was like 9 p.m. Yeah. And just having a helicopter circle yeah. over your neighborhood, literally yelling at somebody to come out of their complex. They weren't even oh, there. Shit. So they just left. Yeah. It was. Sometimes it, a helicopter it like, knocks you know, on your GTA, door. GTA, but then they paused. And then just Someone look just, up a cheat code real quick. And yo, if you, if you were just in LA and then you saw a helicopter go by and then it just like froze midair, like it was GTA. And then you're just like, this place isn't real. <laughs> this place is, it's not real. This isn't real. Or I'm sleeping. And with those two things could be. Then you got to grab out your little top and it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Does right, it stop? Right. Does it keep going? Inception. Find out. You got to do it right on the street. But then it's like on one of those hill streets, so you gotta like run, and yeah, then you don't know whether it stops or not if it's like because it's on the hill, you know? Who knows? Who kn again? Who knows? I believe that was part of this. We could part. be in the Matrix. Who knows? We <laughs> That's I think about like The Sims a lot, and like how advanced The Sims have gotten. You're a Sim man. You like you like The Sims. I know you like RuneScape. You're a big weirdo, but. I, I it's played fine. The Sims, and it it has its moments. That's but what I'm saying is like the way that simulates an entire world and like people doing their thing and taking poops and being you know having relations. That that is like if that is a one twentieth of what life is as a whole, then shit, man. It makes sense to me if this is all fake, <laughs> and that's why I'm like, who cares what you say at the end? Of, at the end of the day, if you give a good heart and you have a good intention. I feel like people will get it, you know? And that's why I'm like, nah, who cares? Talk about it. But I'm not, you know. It's interesting, though, to you think know about I mean? that type of concept that people think of. But that's not what if we're If this here is for. all fake, <laughs> then I can just say whatever I want. And then I, I guess some people will not like me, but I don't want everyone to like me. I just need a good amount of people to like me. So, <laughs> but that's, you know, that's Quentin Tarantino. That's a lot of famous artists. Van Gogh, no one liked him until he died. And then everyone was like, hey, he's pretty good. Great. You could have given him that when he was like, might, might have been less of a dick. Did you watch that movie, Willem uh, Dafoe? I don't think I've seen it, no. It was good. It was really good. But it was very artsy. What? It, give me your top movies that impacted your life. Back like, to the Future. Back to, number oh. Number one. Number one. And my favorite moment in L.A. was yep. when I got to ride a golf cart on the set. Ooh. Back to the Future in the town, the Twin Pines. I mall. went. I didn't see the Twin Pines Mall, mm. but I definitely went past that courtyard, that yeah. that whole 
clock tower thing. Mm-hmm. I think I have a few shots of the uh, Hill Valley on my phone hidden in the archives. If you want to send it to me, I um, might I definitely, I could put it up probably. Yeah. Uh, well, I, no, I, will, you, I will take a look. We'll do it. At, it's at some point. Remind me about it. I'm, I'm, I'm going sure to watch it. this at some point. I think I, so. I sent it to Layla, but either way, it's somewhere. Um, Layla, pull it, pull it up. It, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have we, can't, <laughs> we can't do that. So, um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. Gosh. Back to the future. Back to the future. Movies uh, that impacted your life. That uh, was the question. Ba- definitely Back to the Future. Castaway was the second a pretty one? good one. You said the, the clock tower. Is that I, That's in the second one, right? That's in all of them. Oh, the it is. Tower, yeah, well, it's right. even in the third one. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. building it. Uh, the second one that was, I don't know, whatever. They, but also, if they go back in the past and they, like, the, the Earth is in a different point of the universe 30 years from the time that that happened. So do you think... Do you think uh, Doc like factored that in? I guess that'd be the only thing I could think of. Otherwise, he would literally just go. Yeah, and then and just then be appear, in space, and then he'd be chilling. There'd be no. But way in the for past. Him. Well, the only thing is, I don't know, because it, it doesn't seem like there's a... Well, there could be some type of compression in there, because they do convert it into a flying vehicle. Right. If he gets stuck in space, do you think that the air would just get sucked right out of this 1980s DeLorean with I mean, leaky it can't, seals? It can't be sealed. It I mean, but it, it, could, be but it could be sealed, sealed, because he does go into the past with it, so he might take more That's precautions. That's the only thing that I'm wondering, because, I mean, it, when it gets hit by the train, it, it just explodes. So mm-hmm. it, it's right. not like... It kept together and it literally yeah. just looked like somebody ran into a bunch of legos well that's probably the miniature they used was, <laughs> you know probably that because at the end of the day this is all not real none of exactly. it happened exactly and it, nothing but, matters. but if it and everything's so, fake this is why i like movies because movies are like yes this is fake but i like see life as like that a little bit so what are you gonna do but other than back to the future give me your give me your hitters give me your movie hitters gonna seem kind of basic i was gonna say forrest gump next wow you are yeah. you are just the top one. top imdb films you're uh, just that uh, i mean i say that okay. as a pulp fiction and dark knight fan so don't you know they're not, yeah. they're pretty high on that dark IMDb knight's list. very good as well yes but dark knight i don't know fantastic. it's just forrest gump the the story kind of got to me i mean and at the end it kind of seemed like they were grasping at straws like he made the smiley face shirt yeah you kidding me he, and somehow he was able to go like this right and then oh hey it's a smiley face it's not just a terrible muddy imprint smeared yeah. junk all over I, I was with him when he was walking across america and they did and it like he, 40 times you know but also did he eat food i've never seen him eat food once in that movie i heard two people talk about he had ice cream he did have ice cream and a box of chocolates you're right that but that's not fuel that's like you're how, how long how long are you gonna how go this man lives he's giving the box of chocolates to someone else he's not even eating them no he is eating them he left does him, he he ate oh. a few of the chocolates i well, think um as he's talking and telling his story you know, you got to gotta have some slip a few yeah. in there. Maybe he gave one to the old lady that he told the story to. And then didn't like they walk away and then there was someone else there. When yeah, we, like, back. kind of like, yeah. And then the old lady, I think, was there to the end. But yeah, she's like, oh, like, that's so this, You want to see Lieutenant Dan? This is yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Lieutenant Dan's severed head. Here you go. <laughs> Don't. Keep my briefcase. <laughs> That's it's in the briefcase. It's Lieutenant oh, Dan's severed no. head. Forrest Gump is a murderer. Lieutenant Dan, you still got no legs. Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> you've never had a body. Oh. Lieutenant Dan is just then the, the Futurama head in the, the one of the one of those jars. I would say Beetlejuice, and he'd be like, "Motherfucker, <laughs> let's, that's, let's that's get off. Let's Dan. get off of Lieutenant Dan's no, severed no, no, no. head." I like it. I like it. Beetlejuice. 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 I've oh, never, there he is. Uh, where, where is he? Uh, I probably added him in somewhere. Maybe <laughs> we'll see what happens. Dancing. Just all right. Um, but Beetlejuice. I've never seen Beetlejuice. Yeah, I know you're. Yeah, so. What do, you, what do you have to say about that? Uh, you know what? Um, I haven't seen a few movies you've referenced, so I'll let exactly. you go. But you should watch Beetlejuice at some point. Michael Keaton's great. I think Michael Keaton is a very... Um, I mean, I don't think I like, he's I'm underrated, like he, uh, but he's good. It's just One part that always gets me is when he just says, Nice fucking model. And they just, <laughs> that's that's in Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. That's fantastic. It just just look for if you do watch. It's it, Tim Burton, right? It. it is. It is Tim Burton. I have a, a Jack Skellington mug over there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, as far as like Tim Burton movies as a whole, though, I don't really, you know. Fair enough. Uh, they're not for everyone, but what are you it's definitely do? a definitely a good option if you ever well, feel like watching it. I I mean, my thing with like Edward Scissorhands, it's just like the like I have a problem with the new Charlie Brown 
and like or not Charlie Brown. What the fuck? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Tim Burton does Charlie Brown. That would be that'd be a sight. That would be a serial killer story. Right yeah. You got Charlie Brown just has Edward Scissor hands. That would be great. Oh and then God. he just like uh, tries to do the f- football thing, and then stabs Stab Lucy her. in the face. Oof. And then it's now just it's like. Just- this is a Charlie Brown Halloween. This is the second version. <laughs> when is, Apple got a hold of Charlie Halloween, Brown. This is Halloween, Charlie Brown. <laughs> this is Halloween. This is Halloween. No. <laughs> no. Like the movie. No. <laughs> the, the Tim Burton movie? Tim Burton. Because oh he did gosh. that. Yes, he did. So, uh, name a good movie that you like. Wow. No, that was a good <laughs> movie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, no. So, give me... Give me... Uh, give me you, uh, the movie that you don't want to admit is good, but you like anyways. Like, it, it isn't on paper good at all, but you like it, and you hold it to, close to your heart. Hmm. Legally Blonde. That is, that is a good one. Legally but, Blonde. Uh, is it? Is Legally it? Blonde is not, I don't not know. what I would say. You would? I would like. Um, I mean, it is a good, it's a good film. It's got a, it's that. a good film. It's a good film. Legally it's a Blonde good attempt is a film. At a film. film. <laughs> Legally, I mean, hey, I can't talk shit. I think I've seen it once. I don't think I've seen it all the way through. You know what I've seen? You know, I always think of, when I think of Legally Blonde, The House Bunny. I don't know why. But that's a very, it's kind of the same movie. But it's like kind of the opposite. Uh, you know, sort of. <sighs> but whatever. We can, we can keep moving. But I don't want to admit is good. That's so hard to, to say. Like that, I don't want to admit is good. I think but it is good. you know exactly what I'm talking about. Can you give about, me an example? Don't want of to one that it. you would say. An example. Okay, so I would say, uh, a movie that I don't think is good, but I enjoy. I don't know. I mean, I would say the. Um, not easy, is it? No, it really no because I not easy. I would say <laughs> bench warmers. Oh, in, that's in terms of like a movie that's supposed to be. Is that the one with uh, the weird robot that pops out and like the one guy that just can't? Or what, Rob Schneider. Rob and... Sh- yeah, never mind. Yeah, that yeah. There, isn't there a Heater. robot in there? There's a robot in there. Some the robot oh, butler. Oh yeah, there's a robot butler. I just remember that because yeah. I can't remember that guy's name, but he's in uh, number seven. That's that's his name because it's right. number. He's the guy that uh, makes some uh, sandwiches. Fair. And then he's like uh, David Spade's like. All right, number seven, I'll give you a hard one. I'll give me a turkey on white. And then he just does it immediately. And he's like, oh, good. He's good. He's good. At <laughs> That's, uh, that, that movie's bad, but it's Dickie good. Dickie Roberts. You just remind me. That Dickie Roberts child star. What is that? That you've never seen I that. I've never it heard a of that. horribly it okay movie. Sounds like movie. Deuce Bigelow. It's, I mean, I like it. It's got a good, it's got a good warming story to it. But it's yeah. basically about a failed child actor. Right. Who basically saying that Hold is he on. bad he, he's, is he's he a bad he's actor? kind of a bad person uh, it, but so that's just because adult, of his upbringing so he was like, bad at being a child actor. yeah like his his catchphrase it was on a sitcom Ooh. this is knuck and futz like that's his yeah so that's that's, that's, that's writing his, that's yeah, clever it's, writing it's, right there. they definitely did good there but <laughs> that was his catchphrase yeah and now he's like a failed valet Who's just trying to find another job doing random readings around town? Right, and he's like one of the Ferris Bueller valets, a, that, and he just like steals Ferraris. No, uh, actually, yeah, he did. Yeah. There is a scene. Okay, yep, yeah. Look at you. It's like you've already seen this. It's like movie. I know what's gonna happen because it's and well made. He, he takes, yeah, he takes a nice car. He yeah. goes to this reading, right, and then he has a chance to get on a film, but mm. he doesn't know how to be a child. So Rob Reiner. Gives mm. him the opportunity to become a child. So he basically he gets a uh, a small amount of money. Well, not a small amount. He gets a pretty decent. He gets chunk a child size amount of money. No, he gets at least fifty thousand dollars, as far as I know. He it's basically hires a family and tries to learn how to become a child again. So the, he is a man. He's a he, man. He's a human man. He's a human male. How old looks is he? around forty. So and and the whole point of the movie is tr- him Cause, trying to cause be a child. Because he never had a childhood because he was always on film sets. He was working, you know. Like no, that so kind of okay, stuff. so isn't he trying to get on a film set? He's trying to get on a film set, but he to needs play to learn a child to play somebody who who understands like innocence and has had a well structured childhood. So he has to act like he has to act like, like he didn't he have didn't a have... messed up tra- childhood okay. where he was basically just. That sounds better than yes. you brought it up. At. I mean, at least it's like a decent it's, it's plot. A d- yeah, but the... You know what I just thought of as a bad movie that I kind of do like? Employee of the Month with Dane Cook and Dax Shepard. That I movie don't like Dane is Cook, blatantly yeah. misogynistic. I've like fully watched that movie recently and with my girlfriend, Zoe. Shout out, Zoe. And we um, 
we decided that it is not a good movie. As, <laughs> like the the jokes are funny, it is just but overall, good. it's a bad movie for just society to have. Was that the that's the one that Jessica uh, Simpson's boobers are out the whole time? They're not in the book, or they're not in like a. Uh... It's a Sam's Club, basically. Oh, okay. And they, I, it's, thinking... I think it's called um, uh, Price Mart or something. Price Right. So, yeah, no, like, Price Right's like an actual Walmart place. Or something yeah, it. but it's like a it's a bulk store, so they have like the big pallets. And All right. He he's got Dan Cook's got Heelys, like a fucking baller. That movie was literally written by dudes, acted by dudes, for dudes, and Jessica Simpson was called to be the lady, <laughs> and that was the whole movie. And it's it's not bad, but it is bad. It's not bad, but it's terrible. Yeah, no, it's. <laughs> I would say after rewatching it with a lady, then I I was like looking at it through not my own eyes, and I was like, "Oh, this is bad. This is not how we should do this." <laughs> but in any case, we can go to a break because it's been about thirty-one from what I can see. So we can do that. We'll we'll stop this down. We'll see we how everything works. Time and then uh, hold up, Layla. We're gonna get me. We're gonna well we'll do a trivia yeah. See, I I didn't mean to. I just thought you were gonna press the record button. So mm, hold on, actually. No, I know. I gotta. I'm gonna send it. Yeah, All right. Sure. We'll be right back after a word from the sponsors you won't of this. Anything, though, of editing. Did you turn it off? No, I didn't yet. We'll be right back. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the ad break of the podcast. We now have several cameras in here. We're having fun. But today, we got to keep the lights on, talking about my merch that you should buy because I'm cool and you obviously think so if you've gotten to this part. And you can get a t-shirt, you can get a hoodie, you can get long sleeves, there's crewnecks, there's a bunch of shit. You can get mugs, why not? So, uh, today, I have Daniel Ha-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-Ho-
So they were like, you know what, just throw Abe on there. But they needed a hat for him. You don't need a hat. Right. Yeah, I don't need a hat. I'm, I would I would definitely be taller than Abraham Lincoln. I think he was like 6'2 or 6'3. Do you think he stuffed so. his hat for some extra inches? I think he stuffed his socks for extra inches. That's so, a plan. Because, you know, when, in the olden days, you didn't have too much to... To stuff it with? Well, to get taller. You didn't have too many things that would make you taller. But you could stuff things in your socks and have the, uh, the cobbler in your town or whatever. They make, make you some make you some lifts, lifts, some bigger lifts. So five three men could be five five, five six. It was a glorious time. It was. A f- it's kind of shunned now to have uh, lifts as a guy. But yeah. women, women that are like six feet tall wear heels, and they don't give a shit. So it's just I like a, it's just like a like a T pose thing. Just it's to true. Kinda, you know. <laughs> so if you want, we can get into the uh, the trivia portion. I think that would be a fun, you know. That'd be a, definitely a good segue. We'll spend some spend some time on uh, not Abraham Lincoln, and you know maybe enjoy a, a laugh or two. So Layla has some trivia pulled up, and uh, she is gonna read that off to us a couple lines, and then we gotta guess what the answer is, and then we're gonna we're gonna see who wins. Probably not me. We'll see. This is film trivia. This is film trivia. Definitely not. Yes. All right. How many do you guys want to do? Uh, give us like give that? us five. five. Five to start. We'll see where we're at time wise. Okay. So we'll be good. You're going down, sucker. I am. I'll fight you right now. You are going to just be patient. Uh, wait, what? Is that some like? Is that a Jedi mind trick? What are you saying? Y'all ready for this? Y'all we're not ready. ready for this. I don't think we've been ready for anything else. So mm-hmm. just go for it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> That's the answer. I forgot what I was trying to read. Okay. Waffles. Waffles and ice cream. Y'all ready? Y'all ready. All right. Time for trivia. Uh, wait, hold on. Do we do we buzz in? I think you each get an answer, and whoever gets it wrong, right? Gets All right. Point. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We don't buzz in. Yeah, we Should both we get an answer. You, you both yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll start, and then you go, you go second for the first one. And then I go first, and yeah. then you go. Okay. You got it. Okay, we All got right. this. That's how so, games work, right? Sure. We'll make it work. This is first time for everything. Yep. First time for being bad at this. Oh, yeah. We've, we've been preparing for this game for two minutes now. Hell, yeah. Great use of editing. This is going to be the most interesting part of the podcast. Hell, yeah. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Time for trivia! Woo-woo. <laughs> I put a rim shot in there. Rim shot for horn jazz. That'll give us a dun, 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 dun. so <laughs> it'll be on there. Don't worry. That's right. amazing. We need that. So I put it there. Go for it. All right. What is the name of the hotel in the movie The Shining? Uh, I should know this fucking bitch um the overlook hotel dan what is your answer what is it twin pine hotel it's not the twin pine (laughs) that's back to the future that's I, I wrong. I just watched this damn movie too. You watched The Shining I recently don't and you don't remember? I remember what the name of it was. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's uh, horrible. Connor gets a point. He wins. Ding, ding. He was wrong. For the Overlook Hotel. That was wrong. Fuck yeah. No, I'm right. It is okay. I'm not left. I'm right. You're left. You're on the left. Okay. I'm on your You're right. on camera left. You're on... I'm on you. Just, just blur, blur him. Blur. Blur. Camera left. Camera left. We'll say whatever he wants. You no, can he won't. no no put it put it back on me okay. <laughs> All right, boys. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares about any of this? It's I do. <laughs> Go it's for it. fun. The next question. I've never been more ready for anything else. All right. <laughs> In Carrie, what do the other students dump on Carrie at prom? Oh, that's I know this one. What is it? This is pig's blood. I'm gonna say. A bucket of pig's blood. Well, pig's blood is correct. Do they hit her with so a bucket? They didn't drop a bucket. It's on okay, her. one one. 
I know there was a bucket involved. Get a point, Connor. Do I get a? I literally. They didn't spray a hose of pig's blood. That would have been wrong. I would. Well, that's a good point. That is a good point. They dumped blood on the lady, and then she went ah. That's all I know. She screams in there, right? In that movie, I haven't I, seen I, Carrie, I believe, so I that was a guess. I don't remember seeing. I didn't know pig's blood. You that's... say you know movies, but you didn't know that. Well, I knew oh, that because he Josh said fired. it. I'm I'm first this time. Classic, son. Give me give me one. Why are you why are you going only horror? What's going on? I'm, I'm skipping down to another one. Now. Just say the next one. What are you? Do are you they know what hard? Hoosier is. Ho- I don't know what Hoosier is. Hoosier. Hoosier. Is that a thing? Apparently, that's a show. What? From who? I who don't know. Produces that. Hoosier. CBS. That's probably why I don't know about it. I don't know. I thought it was a tire. Uh, Hoosier. Hoosier. Is that a? Is there a definition it's a for drag racing tire? Oh, very very slick. What is, what's going on with this trivia? Well, are you finding? Oh, <laughs> what you you interject? You can please. interrupt us. <laughs> yeah, we're just nonsensical. We will right, never stop talking. Just, just just yell, say, just it. violently right. screech. Question three of the trivia. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> was it Superman? Eighties movie was the highest grossing film of the decade. Oh, okay. Is this, is this, uh, wait, okay, so this could be, this could be a trick question. Which 80s movie was the highest grossing film of the decade? Uh, 80s movie, highest grossing film of the decade, that would be, bada boom, bada bing, I'm gonna say Back to the Future 2. Dan, what's your answer? Jaws. Did that come out in the 80s? Both incorrect. Oh, wait. Was Jaws, Jaws was 70s, like se- late 70s? Jaws was earlier 70s. Close Encounters was late 70s. Fuck. The answer ah! was E.T. Of course it was. Well, of course. This we forgot about Spielberg. Be- well, what, you, what did you mean forgot? You said his first movie. I said <laughs> one he was involved in. What are you talking about? We didn't forget anything about Spielberg. All we've talked about this whole podcast is Steven Spielberg. <laughs> By the way, I don't... I'm not saying anything bad about Steven Spielberg, but not my favorite director. He's a good one. He's he makes solid movies, but then he makes boring movies, and then I go, Don't I'm watching all. something else. I don't know. Francis Ford Coppola did. Oh, shots fired. Okay. All right, I have a good one that goes back to earlier now. Okay. What year was Forrest Gump released? Oh, oh I know this. No, you know this. Yeah, you go for it. This is one of your favorite movies, dude. You should know this. Do you know the only reason I know this? It's a. It, you'll understand why. But. Go for it. What's your answer? It was definitely in the nineties. I know that much. Smart. It's about but a ten-year window you just gave. I know. I I feel like it came out like ninety, ninety-seven. Nope. But I could be incorrect. Nineteen ninety-four. But all right, Connor gets another point. I, I you know why? You know why I, I know that? Done. You know why I know that? Pulp Fiction came out in nineteen ninety-four and was the superior movie. And it so, literally says 1994 right on there. Yep. So, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I also just knew that. So, mm-hmm. But it's cool. Shawshank Redemption also came out that year. Not as good as Pulp Fiction. It's fine. It's still a good one. They're good movies. Very good But movies. they're generic movies that I didn't find any surprises in, to be honest. Like Forrest Gump, I was wa- I would if I would watch Forrest Gump from beginning to end, I'd be like, yeah, that was cool. But like, if you watch Pulp Fiction, you're like, what the fuck was that? I want that from a movie. That's I don't I want to be. Is that why you like Tenet? I want no. I didn't even like Tenet that much. It was cool. It like blows your mind, but then you're like, but that dialogue was stale. That was his most. It's like eating Wonder Bread. Literally, out Christopher of the Nolan. Four days ago. If Christopher Nolan's brother is not in the room, his writing is worse. That is all I will say. Should, should he just keep a photo on his monitor? Ah, uh, just, <laughs> just just for inspiration. Just, you, right. it just he's holding up a sign. You got this. You got. <laughs> Just speak better. <laughs> Just, Just speak make better. them speak better. Yes, plane blow up, cool, but speak better. Plane blow up backwards, but also words good do. Do <laughs> words in the right way, not the wrong way, as you've been doing. All right. Okay, are we one more? Is this, Let's do one is more. Is this fourth? Is it number is four? This four or five? I think this is four. Connor's winning right no, now. No, that was four. Was it four? Yeah, because I, okay. I have two and you have two. Oh. I think. I guess we're... We're probably tied. No one's keeping score. I we're think I'll keep score in the edit. Back. I was going to say, well, I'll keep yeah, score in the edit. Yeah, you find out. But we're, we're tied, perhaps. We're tied we'll in find our out minds. if we're happy. <laughs> we're tied. 
<laughs> Too bad. It doesn't All matter. Right, here's another question. <laughs> 90s movie Got it. featured the Looney Tunes on its soundtrack. On its soundtrack? Ooh. Ooh. Wait. No, it's got to be. It's got to be Space Jam. It's got, there's no other way it could be not Space Jam. As, well, as a 90s movie. Is there any other Looney Tunes 90s, like, movie? I mean, Looney Tunes back in action, I think that was 2000s. I was, was going to say, yeah. I think so, right with that. I would say it'd have to be Space Jam. But I don't remember them being featured on the soundtrack, which uh, is why Because the only one I could think of, too, would be would be Space Jam. Yeah, so Quad City DJs. I, I, think we're on, I think we're on the same page here. Space Jam? You both in agreement, Space Jam? Is it Space Jam? You are correct. It is yeah, Space okay. Jam. That's, yep, perfect. Okay, so that's so, we're still tied. We're still three tied. To, three to three. Three to three, I guess. Two and a half. We're going to keep going until one of us gets a one right. Right. Yes, and then the other one doesn't. Yeah, we'll but then I have segments. The... I have segments. other segments of things we can talk about. Segways, segments. Seg segways. Segway. Two segments. Segwayment. Seg segwayments. Segwayments. Brought to you by icebreakers. Brought to you by Junior Mints. Junior icebreaker. Mints. Junior Mints. If you want to sponsor the podcast, <laughs> please feel free to message me. I am have a happily advertised. He'll change your... his name to Mint Blots. I won't do that, but I'll do a lot. He'll think about it. I'll change. I'll give you at least a forty-second advertisement for money, if you want to give me those. Trivia. Trivia. Are we good? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, we've been ready. Right. Um, <laughs> so, next question is. Gotcha. Which '90s animated film was Disney's first ever DVD? Ooh. Good question. You get you get the first one. I uh, want to say Lion King. See, see, I'm gonna say Finding Nemo. Nineties? When did that come out? No, 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 no. no he no, said no. Finding. No, Nemo. no, no, no. Toy Story. Toy Story, I think, was like ninety nine. Okay, okay ninety eight. Okay, yeah, we'll give you that then. Toy Story. But if he's right, he said Finding Nemo first. So no, like, no, 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 no. I the answer that is wasn't my final answer. Mulan. Oh. See, we were both right. It was in the it's... middle of either of our answers. Because yeah. The Lion King was early 90s. Mulan was mid-90s. I will say. That, that, was a, that was another good... Toy Story rounded out. Did you see the new one? Unfortunately. Yeah, I heard bad things. It's not my favorite attempt, but it was it was a good independent story. I'll okay. say that much. Like it's definitely yeah. not what I expected from Disney. Well, they didn't hire and Eddie Murphy. Eddie, Eddie Murphy, Murphy wasn't, wasn't there, which that instantly like you lowered from five star down to two star just from that alone. Yep. And he's not like like were there dragons in it? There was an attempt at a phoenix. Yeah. See, there was even a phoenix in the I mean, you could you could argue story. the phoenix and dragon. You could argue that. That's okay. Maybe its name is Mushu, but it's not Eddie Murphy. If it's not um, Eddie Murphy, it's of, not Mushu. A terrifying phoenix named Mushu. <laughs> That's, I'm sure I'm sure that would work Eddie out. Mushu. Eddie Mushu. <laughs> oh, so, uh, so we were both incorrect on that one. So, so we get one more tiebreaker? All right. Let's try another tiebreaker. Last one. This is going to be the last one, and then we're moving on to these segments. That's fair. All right. Who starred as Kevin McAllister in Home Alone? That one's easy. We both not gonna get this. Uh, Woody, am I first? Yeah, first uh, you can time. be first. Macaulay Culkin. It's the the same Macaulay Culkin. All right, that's correct. Before yeah, that drugs. I wanted to make sure you guys at least got another. I was gonna say, <laughs> what is this trivia site now? Where it's just like, who was Darth Vader? And then you say James Earl Jones. You say James Earl Jones, and then it's like no, but the guy in the suit, the other well, guy. Do you want a hard one? I can try to find you a hard one. Yeah, well, give one that like maybe one of us won't know. I think that uh, Home Alone is for pretty wide yeah. knowledge. But you got this. I believe in you. In your findings. All right. What kind of genre do you want? Uh, just. Literally, just pick a random one and say it. All right, let me try to find the hardest. Waffles. Waffles? I'm in your shot. Too bad. I mean, you're not, though, because they're only seeing the wide. So. But in the isolated file. In the in audio, this is going to be shot. completely irrelevant. People are not, I'm not, you're not in my shot at all. We're just talking over each other. Which, okay. you know, that's just how I Because we've been talk. in the wide the whole time. In in about for about a little bit, yes, I think so. But this is a special like uh, behind the scenes. This is like a behind the scenes podcast. Do you see the, the little bit of lag there? 
Yeah, like I mean, there's something, but it's if it lags, whatever. I feel like for the most part, this is for the audio, and you know, yeah. if if the video is eh, then we'll just fix it later. Yeah, but if we don't fix it later, it means we didn't, we weren't able to. We tried. We tried. Well, he tried. I'm this. Right. This is my part. Is the yeah. three camera thing. Yep. Yeah. You add the production value. I add the hours afterwards editing. But we Thanks. all make it work. Boom. Trivia. Last last question. All right. Y'all ready? We got it. We're right. ready. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Oh, no. We suck again. From which movie is this quote? Gotcha. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass, and what character said it? Huh. I know. You're first, so go for it. I know exactly who. What is it? I think we should let Connor go first, but I know exactly who it is. Um, we came, we saw, we kicked ass, and what, what was the last part? And what character said it? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say, uh, what's his name? Kevin Costner from A Field of Dreams. I'm glad that he went first. That is I don't know. Yeah, I don't incorrect. Know. I don't know what it is. It was Bill Murray's character in Ghostbusters. Yeah, you know what? I, I have not seen Ghostbusters all the way through. That's why. Any chance you know the name of the character? Gus. You're only getting half a point. Gus the... No, it's not Gus. It's Gus. Oh my gosh, well, I can't. It's Bill not... Murray's classic character, Gus Thompson. Shit, it's not Ray. It, I know it's not Ray, and it's, it's not Egon. James Gandalf. It, it's not think. James Gandalf or I'm whatever. I'm pretty sure it's Ray Liotta. <laughs> It's I not that's Bill, his character's It's not name. William Murray. His name is uh, Willem Dafoe, I think, in the Ghostbusters I, movie. Oh, hold on. It's crazy I, that I'm, they turned out to be an actor <laughs> also named Willem Dafoe. Oh it's gosh, wild. I can't even... Think. It's crazy how much I know about <laughs> Ghostbusters for never having seen it, and I know that his name is, like, uh, fucking Mac DeMarco in the movie. I'm pretty sure that's his name. He's I could be keep, wrong. He's just going to keep saying saying names. It, you're definitely wrong. Uh, um, yeah, no, it's it's definitely Pharrell Williams. That's definitely his name in the movie. It's, it's hurting. It's hurting. His name is Daft right Punk. Now. Like, I think his first name is Daft, and then the last name is Punk. It's crazy that, you know, it, they called it. Like, that 80, That was in the 80s. So, is this helping at all? <laughs> I don't think it is. No. Well, I've done my job. Fucking Bill Murray. It's not Bill Murray. It's He's Bill not just named Bill Murray in the he movie. He should be named Bill Murray. Damn. He is in Space Jam. That's his name. That's how he was referred to as. Fuck. What was his name? Yep. Okay, Dan wins anyways. Because you've at least right. got I half a point for I, I should get half a point, but yeah. why the hell can't I remember Bill I Murray's character's yeah. fucking name? What is it? It's Peter Bankman. Bankman! Yeah, see, I don't know. I didn't Fuck. know Fuck! Yeah, I never would have guessed that. Too bad. I don't know why. Well, I lost movie trivia. That was... I, by we our count, I, we may we may have miscounted. We'll, have to count. we'll say we're tied, but I win. Well, okay, just to move on. Yes. Just to move on. Let's, we're tied, but that. Dan wins. May as well. Dan wins in his heart, but not in reality. Every reality. Dan wins in The Sims, but not when he's uh, you know, oh, yeah. driving around. Not when I'm driving. Around. Speaking of that, by the way, so getting to the segments of this podcast, I have three segments. So we have the first segment, which I like to call All Cops Are Scary, because I don't think all cops are bad, but I think all cops, because of the power that they wield, are inherently going to be terrifying. So, you know, I've had a recent experience just being scared of a cop pulling behind me, and then I get like, oh, and then I turn, and then he turns and follows me, and I'm like, oh, and then he's gone, and then I'm still like, oh, so fuck that. Do you have a uh, a crazy cop moment that you're willing to speak on? You don't have to if you if it's too, you know, risque. But if you have a, a crazy cop moment. I have a crazy cop moment with Ian. Yeah? Okay. Actually. Uh, it, Layla was there as well. Give it to me. So uh, Ian, myself, Layla, we were – actually, we're going shooting. So mm. we went to this um, – With cameras. With cameras, yes, not with weaponry. Some people uh, may – It was with, uh, yeah. with the camera that's aimed at me right now. Right. Um, so w- with these cameras – It does pictures too. It does, it does the photo. It does the video. It's everything. Crazy. But <laughs> – 
Keep going. So this this cop moment with Ian. Yep. We we had our camera bags and everything. We got to this uh, beautiful spot, Lake Ontario. It was literally just the edge right before you get into it. We just wanted to Hot. get a few landscape shots. Yep. Um, we kind of pulled off into this little like parking lot, the public space. Um, very nice. Right. You know, it looked nice and open. You know, a perfect. public space. Yeah. So it was right next to like this fenced in area. You know, we didn't think we're not trespassing or anything. It didn't say don't trespass, don't enter. So it actually said, please sudden, trespass. It's, yeah. So it was crazy. So um, there's we, a sign up and it was like, please take a foot, take your feet, put them on this grass. It was really weird. <laughs> it, it, didn't say, it didn't say don't keep, it didn't say keep off the grass. Right. Uh, we could go to the grass. We can go to the, the beach area. It was fine. Yep. Um, I feel you. So we, we were going to get out our cameras. It was a bit cold. We're like, eh, whatever. So then we just put our stuff back. Mm-hmm. Now, Ian had his camera bag in our car at the time because it was just easier because mm-hmm. we were, you know, we were in a tighter spot. So we parked our car closer to the top and his car was closer to the bottom. Right. And then we just gave him a ride down and he forgot his camera bag. So mm-hmm. somebody must have been Way looking go, on and they called the police on us. So when, uh... the, when they called the police on us, two cop cars just came whipping down the road. <sighs> pulling in right in front of us as we were all sitting in the same car too we were just sitting in the same car just to get warm yep it was still pretty cold out i mean the Mm -hmm. area was frozen so we couldn't really get down there right but um so we were i was on the phone and everything these cops just roll up and they got a a a possible drug deal tip so Uh... all of a sudden the cops just like hey so uh what were you guys passing around uh we're like nothing what what do you mean cameras it's like we had some uh, people report that you were uh you know swapping bags between cars so uh we just came over to check it out i'm like uh snitches i you was on the phone too you... so like i'm just oh like, yeah could have uh, been uh, what <laughs> like the the car wasn't on or anything nobody right. was you know moving it uh-huh. was it was perfectly you know we were just sitting there right. um there was nothing illegal going on, as far as I knew. Loitering, <laughs> loitering, that's perhaps why they make, in a public space. That, but so the the fact that loitering is illegal is like a crock of shit. You know what I mean? Just like you can't just hang out here. What if I bought gas here, I'm not yeah. allowed to stay here for five more minutes while no. I check my GPS. Or I just check the tires. Loitering is the man's rule, and the man keeps you down. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all. That's all I'm trying to say. But I feel like that that's insane. And like, just for people calling that in, like, I mean, what a what a society it's, it's we have. It's okay, you know. Maybe they thought there was a drug deal going on. The I guess. area probably has a lot of drug deals going on. But did on. you have the boo 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 in your heart and go? I, I bah, was bah, concerned. Bah, bah, bah. I'm like, why are these police just rolling up on us? Right. Like, what did I do wrong? Did we speed at an exactly. intersection before? Like, wh- why so late? Exactly. And then that just I, came up. And then when I heard what they thought we were doing, I'm like, oh, okay. So we don't, we don't have drugs on us. Go ahead, right. search my. You know, they they asked to search the bags and everything. It was literally just Ian's camera bag, my yeah. bag. Or do you want to see all of this? thousands of dollars we could have spent on drugs but spent on camera equipment this is my drug right here this is the camera is my drug (laughs) i just oh you take the shots and then it just takes the edge off literally you can crop the edge off if you want so it's just yeah well you can keep going with that (laughs) that's great but i know that's fun that's a a uh, a wild tale you know i mean getting pulled up on like did they seem hostile or was it just like like did how did they they walk seem hostile they seemed like just some dumb kids that they wanted to check up on or maybe like roll up on a little bit. They right. they weren't like scary. They were like, oh, like what are these people doing? Right. And by the time Did they, they have the saw, especially because they saw Ian. I mean, you know how Ian looks. Right. He looks pretty harmless. I mean, Ian. I didn't think but you could they, be did intimidating and be. On? I don't. I don't think they rolled up with the lights on. You know what Ian is intimidating with a hood like Assassin's Creed and a face mask. That you, uh, if, if he I doesn't have that, I'd be like, up, that I'd be gets like, fun. I, I gotta leave this area. Yeah. Like he's he's about to do something. This man is actually an assassin. I'm pretty he, sure he actually. He might, he might roll up. A... Yeah. No, I think he would dispose of a body, and he knows what to do with it. Um, but moving on, I I would like to bring you to the second segment of this podcast, the uh, the Pulp Fiction segment, oh. where we talk about your first experience with Pulp Fiction, your Pulp Fiction origin story, and then what you thought of it at the time, if you've seen it again. What do you think of it now? Go for it. So when I first saw Pulp Fiction, I didn't know what I was watching. Like That's, I thought that I yeah. jumped into like this uh, kind of like just a, a car, like a random cartoon show, like mm. where it just jumps from one cartoon to another kind of thing. Like, Set the scene. Like, where were you? Do you remember? So, I mean, I, I don't remember exactly where you I were was. A teen? This was years ago when I was a teenager. We were watching. Of course, it had ads at the time. We didn't really have streaming services and, uh. you know. 
VHS player can only record so much before you have to start fast forwarding through the ads. You know how it is. Yeah. Um, we you were on VHS that player for a while. I was gonna say that was the tail but... end of VHS players. <laughs> <laughs> or is this like I was like 22, just VHS it was... <laughs> all my stuff, just no. recording all of it VH... on a tape. We got rid of our VHS player, I think, when when I was about like 15. Well, the VHS so this, this, hour just to give you con- that, was that could be next podcast. Ago. Okay, gotcha. so back when Obama first got elected, that's when we were still using the VHS. That's crazy though. But it, I mean, it was it wasn't all the time. We had yeah. a DVD player. Yeah, right, it right, was right. just you know we still For had nostalgia. a VHS player, and then unfortunately our basement flooded and. Now it don't work anymore. That basement floods killed so many records, killed so many electronics. Yeah. But getting back to Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. How did you, you know, watching this on the VHS, I feel like that that does give you a different experience too because that it would have been a 5x4. Is that correct? You would not have the widescreen experience? Yes, you would not. With that one, it was um, on our old Zenith television at the mm. time, tube television. So that was... So we had the full organic VHS experience. Right. And this was recorded from cable right. onto a VHS tape. And then we literally just fast forward through the ads. But that's So that's what I'm saying. So you you received Pulp Fiction for your first time in on a cable television with ads. So I feel like that does hinder and it was not the full aspect ratio it's, that was shot in anamorphic yeah so or at least in i didn't Cinemascope, really i mean it, so. it was the best that we had at the time no i'm just saying we, i do in have terms it of a now. delivery method yes the first time i mean yeah. th- i mean that's how most things get introduced right. to me anyway like the office the first time i watched the office that was just vhs uh, it crazy. wasn't vhs but it was definitely cable television that right. i watched it and it was not interesting when i when it first came out no. nothing like that and then it finished and i'm like this is actually well, because ads ruin the momentum of yes. anything you're watching. I always, like YouTube Premium, I Big, have that literally yep. because ads are terrible. Yep. Uh, I, I watch have... TV and then I get upset when I that gets to the good part, and then I and have... then boom, cut ad. Yep, and that's here's what some they... Allegra D. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't give a what. here's God some day. coconut water. Enjoy coconut water. <laughs> Sponsored. Sponsored by. Sponsored by coconut co- brand water. Sp- <laughs> coconut. You won't believe it's not water. You. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Saliva? You'll find out. We just some, have someone spit in a cup for <laughs> about 16 hours. <laughs> Once it gets filled, he, he goes home. Oh, yeah. gosh. All right. So, so, Pulp, so Fiction, Pulp Fiction. So when you when you watched it in its full form, no ads, swears and all, butt, butt scenes, you know. I'm sure that, that was censored. There were some censors mm. on the film when you watched it on TV. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of cut a little bit differently, too. It seemed right. like it was lesser um, yeah. overall. Didn't include a lot of scenes and that, you know, that I actually saw later on and everything. Right. So it does trim down your experience. It's a more condensed, government-approved version of what you're which is expecting not, to which, see. Yeah, right, which is not what this podcast is all about. We're no. all about the government is against us and it's corrupting the public. We're very... Uh, you know, radicalized. Anti, anti-government we're, here. We're, anti, we're anti-establishment we're anti really anything. So I'll take it. If someone has a good idea and brings it up, cool. I'm You're a good guy. But most people's ideas are, hey, we should do this again. And then everyone's like, no. no and then they just do it. not do this. <laughs> so who cares? But so, so Pulp Fiction, in uh, your later years, how do you feel about it now? Have you learned that it's a lot more gruesome? If I could use a word. A lot, yeah. There was um, a lot of scenes that I didn't really understand when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Um, especially the one, ooh, the the one at the end with the the bike. Like, oh, right. Right before right. he gets on the bike and saves the dude from the basement. I don't really want to go into that scene, but yeah, the whole that was an interesting. Stuff. It. Marcellus Wallace was right. That's a, a different part of the movie, but yeah. he was, you know, uh, he had some things happen to him, and we won't get into it. Because this is generally funny. I mean, it's kind of funny that that happened to the guy that was, like, fucking with Bruce Willis the whole time. And then Bruce Willis was just like, you know what? I'll save. He was about to shoot his freaking head off, like, two minutes ago. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and they then, both get bald and they get gagged. And then, you know, bad and things then, The best thing came out of that that mm-hmm. could have. Yeah. Um, Guys, I'm glad that he went back. Off. I'm glad that he went back. Yeah, yeah. He shot him with a shotgun in the pee-pee. That's the way to go. It's... That's what That's a, way, a to way to go. That's a way to go. <laughs> that is oof. Um, but uh, you know, stuff like that, I didn't really yeah. think of that much when I was younger, especially because a lot of it was cut out from the actual right. like uh, you know VHS 
I, I guess you could say copyright infringement right. at the time. Well, it would be the, uh, you know, the, I don't think the um, MPAA was a th- I even I think it was a they thing. They probably were. No, I mean, yeah, they, they were they a thing had, in the 90s. Yeah, like don't record and redistribute this. Right. It's like, well, I mean, not everybody can afford it. Well, I mean the censors. So. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the oh, censors. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, that was, case, was a lot worse. But Give me your rating now, and then we'll move on to the last thing rating out of what like a hundred f- okay out of 10 i would Give say 10. i would say about an eight and a half okay i mean there's not much you it's can improve on that film um yeah. yeah i mean i would say it's definitely a solid eight and a half maybe I, maybe even a nine Ooh, maybe. and that's on your list of steven spielberg movies basically <laughs> about it and uh what, what was it you said uh forrest gump back to the future tim burton and tim burton <laughs> yeah that was the other one I mean, Quentin Tarantino is a it is an amazing director. He's just a lot for some people, but I'm also a lot for some people. So I think it and works. And I, I do like I very much so enjoy the scene after they kill. Um, is the guy's name Marcus? Yeah, Marvin. Marvin. They shot Marvin. in they the face. They shot Marvin in the face. Yep. That was an amazing is, sequence. After that, how do you make I have shooting a, a someone in the face comedic with Jimmy's coffee on my laptop? Yep. Because I mean, that's just an amazing. Yeah. Like it, it just, and the balls, the, you know what I mean? They're just pure balls to be the only guy in the movie that's like dropping end bombs. Like just as a director, that's like that's, I know what I'm doing. It, like that shows he's like, okay, look at all of the world I created. I'm not gonna make anyone else be this guy, so I'll just be this guy. I will be the worst person Dude, on the set. <laughs> and then, but the thing is too, you you think about the whole Bonnie situation, which is like the title of that you know, scenario. And his wife in the flashback or flash forward or whatever is black. So that's the whole thing of like his character's wife is black. So he thinks he has the end pass. And <laughs> the he just, end pass. you know, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> but we can, we can move on. Cause that's whatever. That's just, you know, I can speak all day, but obviously. So last, last thing we got, we got some impressions. I'm going to force you to do some impressions because oh, whether they're good or not, they're going to be good because bad, bad is good and good is good with impressions. So I want you first off, give me a Christopher Walken right now. And you're going to say, um, I, I had this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for four years. <laughs> say that as Christopher Walken. You I, got it. I can't. You can't. I simply can't. Try it. Try it. What is that, Matthew McConaughey? You could try Matthew McConaughey. No. You got it. I, You're not going to do any of these impressions. I do not have Christopher Walken No, just, in my wheelhouse. Just literally, if you don't, it's fine. Because if it's bad, it's good. I, just say words as Christopher Walken right now. You, you're talking to my guy all wrong. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah <laughs> you that's... do it again, I'll hit you in the face with a soldering iron. Is it? With a soldering iron? Yeah. yeah. That's I, the best I, think I got he, for you. And then he goes, hey, watch out. At night. Like he does like the, the quiet part. Yeah. But okay, so you can do uh can you do Matthew McConaughey? Not really. Just give me all right, all right. Just say all right three times. All right, all right, all right. Boom. That See? We got it. You got that's, it. That's say I right. know oh, say uh I keep getting older and they just stay the same age. I keep getting older, but they just stay the same age. Yeah, that's really a weird line, right? Yeah, because that's from Days of Confused, and he's just a weird... A weird fucking guy. He just hangs out at, like, teen shops, and it's like... You stop being creepy, you fuck. (laughs) Yeah, and he never did. He was still creepy to this day. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Who else? Who else you got in there? Are you going to say his name three times? He appears. (laughs) He appears, and he just stabs you. Oh, no, it's like the Kool-Aid man. Like, the Lincoln just, (laughs) boom, just drives to the wall. (laughs) Don't say Matthew McConaughey's name three times if you don't want property damage. (laughs) Because he'll just pull That's up and he's like, hey, everybody. Hey. Right, one of those. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And then, like, he's, like, on me. Like, his fucking 18-inch rim is just on my neck. He's <laughs> like, Matthew, Matthew, get off. Oh, my God. But All right. I'm just painting the scene. <laughs> who's who's next on this impression right, list? Now you have to do uh, Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here with Boom. another... The hell yeah, with dude. another fresh hot mix for your funky ass. Oh, so now you now you're good with the impressions. Only certain. That's a good one. Is there any more that you have in your back pocket? Can you do a uh, Barbara Streisand? No, she's Jewish. So I don't know if that helps. I... 
No. No. <laughs> she performed with the Bee Gees. That I'm just giving Barbara Streisand facts. Uh, she was but, on uh, Hello, Dolly. She was. That's a good point. Can you do Dolly Parton? I think I made a will. My I, buddy will do I honestly Parton. don't. I I don't think I've ever heard her speak. I've heard her sing, no? but I don't think I've ever heard her like just speak. I just want everyone to be happy and loving and all that stuff. That's that's she just talks like that all the time. But okay, is there you know, is there anyone else you'd like to imp- impress? Is that the the I adjective know. or the verb? I mean, I I can. Impersonate. I, I can't impersonate Boom. anyone specifically, as far as I Kermit know. Kermit the Frog, you did a very well, good job I'm, for. Apparently, I did a very good job for you did. Kermit. I mean, that what is ownage pranks? I can probably do that guy. Okay, that's if you for, heard of for that. the select audience. That, that is, yeah. So I, I mean, I feel like I have heard of them. You you probably have. Can but, you do Cartman? Mm, I'm not really as good with Cartman. Well, you, literally, what did I say? Being trying, good is trying, not the goal I'm just trying to think here. of like a iconic thing that I could say. No, can't. Kitty, this is my pot pie. Nick, this is my pot pie. See, that's good. Dude, that was really good. <laughs> it's like, say, uh, fuck you, Kyle. This is my house. Mm, no. Okay. Uh, it... Fuck you, then. All right? Respect my fucking authority. See, boom. Something like that. We did it. We did we, it. We did it, everyone. Um, but yeah. That's that's about it. I think that's the podcast. There's that, really not much else that we really go through, but no more segments. No, we just, that's it. Those are the those are the segment. We we sometimes have a musical guest and I'm they would play a, a thing. musical guest. You know, that's I, why I figured I can't play anything. Sometimes they get some goofs. Sometimes they get some. I can some play tunes. the electric triangle. The electric. I think you would get zapped if you played that. The ele- the uh, I can play a, the toaster in the bathtub. It's, have you ever played that? Uh, no, I, I'm not a percussionist. <laughs> All right, and on that note, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Dan, would you like to plug everything you want to plug? Your production well, company, what you do, if people are interested. Oh, well, if you're interested, uh, if you want to see some of the work that I've done uh, for people, especially locally, uh, it's just HighStoneProductions.com. Boom! We got uh, a business card right here. It, yeah, it's, we got. Uh, uh, it's not visible from. Any angle, maybe You'll see it. Up. You'll see it. It's right there. I'll put it okay. on the screen. I'll put it on the screen, perhaps. Maybe There'll we'll be a big a link. Closer. It's fine. There'll but be yeah. a big link. Yeah, there you go. You just, we got, just oh, put it right oh, in there. Hand. The invisible hand. Invisible hand. Uh, and it's out of focus. There it is. There it is. That's, it's fine. It's not in manual focus, it. but you can that see it. That is it. That's that. You can see You know it. what? That's all okay. that matters right now. This is... It's taken over the podcast. We're, we're really the professional. Right we're you know, highly professional. With as much money as we have in this room right now, this is the most abhorrent like content that we could have produced. I, I bet there are people... Uh, no, we don't plan this. This is all... This is all organic. You know... They're getting an inside look. It's organic. No Monsanto here. We we just we just go at it. There's not even a teleprompter. Well, uh, well, there will be. In Don't any worry. case, highstoneproductions.com. Is that what it is? Yep. You can follow me on uh, Instagram. Same thing. Highstone Productions. Literally spell it out. Sounds H I G H S T O N E. Yeah, it'll be all on the screen in the description. All of that all jazz. Up in this so, area here. Uh, so thanks again, Dan, Layla. You guys have been great. We've had a fun time here. I'm getting tired. Understandable. So we're gonna we're gonna close this out. We're gonna tuck you in with it. Yeah, if you want, we could do that. I'll, we'll we'll cut to that after we finish. We'll cut to we'll cut to yeah. uh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll cut to we'll me being tucked. tucked in. Yeah. Uh, so if you if you're not watching the YouTube, this is gonna be a lot more impressive if you actually see the visuals of what is happening. So check out the Minkblot YouTube channel. Go to minkblot.com. Whatever you want to do. If you are, uh, you know, not subscribed, subscribe. If you want to like and comment, do that too. Leave a comment with your favorite uh, movie trivia fact. Sure, why not? Do it up. Um, but yeah, thank you, Dan, Layla. You've been been great guests, and we will uh, we will close it out with a ending word from Dan. The what do you, what do you want to leave the audience with? You get to put the last word in their minds. I would not recommend. Drinking coffee and lemon water at the same time. And with that, good good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that.